guys, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video is a really, really good one because this is actually one of my favorite desserts of all time. Today I am making banana pudding cupcakes. Y'all, I love banana pudding. It's something that I can never resist. If it is put in front of me, I'm eating the whole entire thing. I love vanilla wafers, I love bananas, I love pudding. It is just the best dessert ever. I don't know if it's because I'm from the South, but I just had to make these into a cupcake and I love the way that these turned out. I just did a banana type of cake and then on top a banana whipped cream pudding. So it's very light, it's perfect for summer, and then on top I just put a vanilla wafer and a banana. So if you guys want to learn how to make these banana pudding cupcakes, then please keep watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss any more videos. And just a reminder that if the video goes a little too fast, all of my ingredients will always be in the description box down below. So if you want to learn how to make these banana pudding cupcakes, then please keep watching. To start off, I'm going to start by mixing all of our dry ingredients together, starting with three cups of cake flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and then just a half of a packet of dry ingredients for banana pudding mix. So now with my stand mixer, I'm going to beat two sticks of softened butter until they're light and fluffy. And then I'm just gonna add in two cups of granulated sugar to that. And then I'll just beat that for a couple of minutes until very fluffy. And I'm now just gonna add in my flour mixture to my butter and sugar mixture. And I'm going to mix those together until it's completely combined before we add our wet ingredients. So now to start our wet ingredients, I'm just going to be adding in four eggs and I'm just gonna mix that together until all of my eggs are combined. Once they're combined, I'm gonna add in my one teaspoon of vanilla and mix that until combined. And then lastly, I'm going to be adding in one cup of whole milk to this. And I just added a little bit at a time since this is a thinner batter. And then you can just go ahead and fill your cupcake liners about two-thirds way full and then you'll just want to pop that into the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So now in the meantime we can start our icing. I'm just starting with eight ounces of cream cheese. That is one packet of cream cheese and I'm mixing that with my stand mixer until it's fluffy and light. Then I'm just going to add in one cup of powdered sugar to my cream cheese and mix those until completely incorporated. Then I'm just going to add in my one teaspoon of vanilla to this. And then I'm going to add the second half of that packet of banana pudding mix that we used from earlier. And this is just going to add that banana flavor in the easiest way. No mashing bananas, it is so simple. Then lastly I'm just going to add my two cups of heavy cream. And I'm going to mix all of those ingredients together until it gets a good icing consistency. This is going to take a while, about five to seven minutes honestly, just get it to where exactly you want it. And now I'm just going to ice my cupcakes with my just round tip. And then on top of my icing, I'm going to add a vanilla wafer, which is perfect for banana pudding. And then in front of that, I'm just doing a little banana wedge. That's all there is to these banana pudding cupcakes. These are so delicious. I'm obsessed. My whole family thought they were amazing. Just putting the banana pudding mix into your banana cake makes it so easy. There's no mashing of bananas. It gives it that banana flavor if you want to take an easy route. I love the way that these turned out, y'all. They're perfect for summer. They're perfect if you love banana pudding. I promise they will not disappoint. One thing that I also thought of after I filmed the video, if you wanted to put a vanilla wafer on the very bottom, of your cupcake pan so that there's a little bit of a crunch under your cake. I think that that would be amazing. I'm actually so mad at myself that I didn't do that because that would be so cute and just have a little crunch would be perfect. So if you guys wanted to do that, all the ingredients and the recipe would stay the exact same. You would just add a little wafer on the bottom of each cupcake. So thanks again for stopping by my channel and watching this whole video if you're still here. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Someone wanted to say hi.